second unit, I imagine it's it's not rigidly defined. Guys can play their way in and out of it a little bit. But when that group is on the floor, particularly, I guess, Trey and Malik, Jordan, Tamar, we saw CJ tonight. What does that group do well when it's on the floor together? Well, again, I'm still learning. You know, I mean, I haven't had an opportunity to really play these cats a lot, a lot of minutes together. So, you know, we've had some practice time, but some of these guys have been in and out. So, you know, it's, it's hard to gauge it right now. Uh, I just got to stay with it and, and take it a practice at a time and see where it leads us. Grab it and keep it. Hey, Coach, Jalen's had his feet on Malik Renault. What have they done that's impressed you the most, these two exhibition games? Well, again, I mean, they, they've been solid, you know, and, um, you know, they, they, they're doing all the things that we've been working on for the last four and a half, five months now. And it's nice to see, you know, practice is totally different than the game. But I, I always felt if you develop good habits in practice, it could be a nice carryover for you in the ball games. And I think that's what's happening for these two guys. <laughs> Keeping the mic. Coach, given the small sample size of the two exp expedition games, how do you feel your team stacks up right now going into the regular <clears throat> season next week? Only time will tell, man. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, again, these were two exhibition games. Uh, uh, yes, we were. Our size was a big difference in both ball games, uh, but we know as we continue this journey, you know, we're going to face teams that are just as big as we are, and then we got to see what we made of. So, again, only time will tell. I just I was anxious to get these two games under our belt just to see where we were uh, from a player coach standpoint, and uh, now it starts for real on Monday against. More out, more head rather state, and um, you know we got we got a lot of work on our hands still. You know, what I, mean? I mean, the real thing starts Monday. Mike from Dustin, coach at various points, Trace, Malik, and Race all led the great tonight. Is, is that something you're also still trying to figure out what they're capable of? Or no, I, I know they can do that. You know, Trace and Race did that last year for us. You know, I've gotten away, and I started this in Atlanta, coaching the Hawks. And when I coached the Knicks, you know, I got away from the old conventional way of, well, the big gets it off the board, he gives it to the guard, he brings it up. We got a number of guys. We work on ball handling drills that I feel good about guys making plays in the open court and being able to push to initiate our break. And now, you know, until you prove me wrong, you know, then I'll – I'll scale you back and take the ball out of your hands and tell you that, hey, you got to play the conventional way. But Race, Malik, and, and Trace have proven that they can make basketball plays in the open court. Justin in town. Mike, obviously, uh, Trace and Tamar were out the first one. What would you uh, like from each of those guys just looking back into it today? Well, again, Tamar has really been one of our most consistent guys in this journey uh, since we've been together. Uh, unfortunately, he got hurt, you know, the past, you know, week and a half, and it's kind of slowed him down, so it was good getting him back uh, tomorrow, and, you know, Trace is who he is, man, I mean, uh, he's going to he's gonna be there when it counts, and uh, it was nice having him back in the lineup. Down the gym. Mike, uh, Trace and Malik, you know, those two six nine left-handers, you had them out on the floor together at some times tonight. How do, how do they uh, mesh well on the floor when they're out there together? Well, both can pass the ball, and both can make basketball plays. So, um, you know, it helps us in terms of how we run our offense now. You know, I mean, they can both run pick and roll. They can both post the ball. Um, and they're smart enough with when they're double team to get rid of it to the right guy. So, you know, we just got to continue to grow. Get Malik in a you know really comfortable place where he's you know where we're not trying to put him in a bad position defensively because where Trace is used to switching and guarding smaller guys he's not and you know we got to get him comfortable in, in that role. Jim Nemanzi, coach, uh, there's talk about the, the rotations you've been asking about substitutions and that, but with the the elevated level of talent you 
have this year. Is there a number that you are thinking that you'd like to get to at some point in the season, uh, rotation-wise, or is that something it's, that it's just It's completely... hard to say, man. I wish I could play everybody 30 minutes on this team, but it's impossible. You know, and, you know, but when you're building a team, and I've said this, the, when you get minutes, you got to make the most minutes, the most out of those minutes. You just, you, you got to, to help us win. And if you don't play, you still got to be a good teammate because you never know when your time will come. Somebody gets hurt and you grumbling and mumbling about not playing, and then now you're not ready to play. So I don't think we have that amongst our team. Uh, I think we got 17 guys. I mean, it's kind of nice to see what the Walcorns did today and coming in there, you know, and not ever really playing much in the game. And they were solid based on the fact that they've been with us too, going through the grueling practices every day. So, um, you know, I just think we got a, a good team that everybody's going to have to sacrifice and be willing to buy in to do what we need to do to get where we need to go. Martin and Tyler, Woody, free throw shooting has kind of been a bugaboo the last oh. few years, and, and, and it's only played two games and it cropped up today again with 11 of 18. What is what, what do you have to do? I know you, you can sit and practice all day and you still, it seems like game time and it just doesn't work out. Well, George, don't jinx us. The jinx is this early right now. Really. No, I, 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 I you know, I agree with what you're saying, man. You know, we've got to figure that part of it out. You know, we score 100 points and we miss, what, eight free throws? I mean, you know, free throws are important. They're free. And I just got to get these guys to understand and relax and make them. You know, I mean, that's, you know, I I can't. If I had a magic pill to give them, I would on free throws, but I just don't. And, you know, it's, it's something that can bite you in the butt if we're not careful, man. So you know, I, that is, that's one of the first things I said before I broke up was our free throws. You know, I mean, it's unacceptable. So we just got to, somehow we got to figure it out. That would be Seth. Coach, you were uh, talking to Don Fisher earlier this week just about Bob Knight instilling defense um, in his team. I guess a, a two-part question on that. One, did you like playing defense in college? And two, was there a moment where I guess the importance of defense really became evident to you in college? Well, I tried to play defense, Bob Hamill. <laughs> but <laughs> Coach always thought I, I was the, probably the worst defender. I didn't think I was, but he probably thought so. Uh, but I did what I was told to do, and that was put the ball in the hole. And um, But no, I. You know, I, I talk about defense so much because of my experience, not only playing for Coach and I here the four years that I played, but that run that we made with that Detroit Piston team in the NBA when we beat the Lakers. That team defensively was, it would probably go down as the greatest defensive team ever. And I saw it up close firsthand, and I know it, it wins games. It won a championship for us. So, you know, I gotta push these guys in that direction. That gives us a chance, man, to be in every ball game if we defend the rebound. Except in the rabbit last one. Uh, obviously, in, in both these exhibition games, there have been a couple of moments where you have to pull Xavier aside and just have you know one on one after a play you made. I guess what have you seen from him in these games? What are you seeing from him in practice right now? Where's his head at going into the regular season? Well, I told Xavier after the game, you don't have to do it all this year. You really don't. I mean. I think we got enough pieces on this team that you can just do your part and not have to <clears throat> stress out about thinking you have to do everything. And that, that was my words to him because, I mean, there's going to be nights X is going to really, really explode offensively and have big games, and there's going to be nights that might not happen. But you, he's still got to be Xavier Johnson for us. You know, you still got to defend. He still got to get the ball where it's got to go and set us up, break press, you know, defenses and things of that nature. So, I mean, it's just not his scoring ability. I mean, he, he showed he can do that towards the end of last year. And I just think right now he's playing too fast. So I just got to slow him down and get him, get him in a good frame.
Coach, just uh, want to get your thoughts on CJ Gunn. He gets 15 points, or 15 minutes, nine points tonight, and gets a block. And what are you seeing from him? I and mean, what are the important things for him to get some minutes this year? Well, again, you know, it's it's the minutes that you get. You know, he's you know he he played well tonight, but he made a lot of mistakes from a defensive standpoint, and you expect that, you know, from a, from freshmen. I get it, you know, and uh, you know, I just got to get him where he understands that every possession counts. It's important. You can take possessions off in high school and get away with it. But the talent level is too steep now in the college day. And you can't take possessions off. So, you know, and that's with all our freshmen. So it's, you know, you just got to keep working. That's that's all I can tell, tell him. Keep working. All right. Thanks, Coach.